question is uh, about uh, this book here, uh, Marijuana Reconsidered, written by Dr. Lester Grinspoon, uh, the preeminent doctor in the field in the world. For 20 points, within, damn it, I'll be really nice, within two years, what year was this book published? I, I guess there are lots of numbers this time. So I was a little rushed today getting the game together. So I picked oh. lots of hard things. Within two years, probably one of the most important books to come out on this subject by Dr. Grinspoon, a Harvard University professor. Um, within two years, when did this come out? Like I say, there's a, a lot at stake here, folks, with prizes and, and the like, so uh, it's pretty serious. So, what's your guess here? 77. No, it's not 77. So, uh, for 20 big fat points within two years, what year was marijuana reconsidered? 1970. Actually, it was 1971, so you picked oh, up some yeah. points there, yeah. buddy. 20 points, oh, and uh, you're on the game in a, in a big way now. So, uh, that was a pretty tough one, so even if I would have kept it within one, you would have got it. So, yeah, you guys are, are earning your points tonight in a very tough game. So, tonight's fifth question is our personality question. Um, there's lots of people that have done things to bring cannabis uh, into the public light. Uh, and uh, it's, I think, important to kind of highlight them and where they come from. So let's see if anyone can tell me for 20 points what career Joe Strobel has had. For 20 points, does anyone know the name Joe Strobel? Can anyone remember who may have heard of Joe Strobel? What career? And I'll, I'll, I, I could give you like eight options here and we could just work down from there. How's that? So here's your eight possible options. Um, politician, author, lawyer, doctor, High Times editor, hemp farmer, cannabis seed breeder, or a judge. Those are your eight <laughs> options for what career Joe Strobel has or had. Because uh, honestly, he may have retired by now. I'm not 100% sure where Joe's at with things. Kind of out of touch with some stuff. But does anyone remember? See, I even got a puzzled look on Gail's face. So this is a tough question, I'm sure. 20 points. Rocket. High Times Editor. No, that's not Joe. So, for 20 big points here, guys. Which one of those jobs, careers, does Joe Strobel have or had? <clears throat> 20 big points. Uh, politician, author, lawyer, doctor, hemp farmer, seed breeder, or judge? And. No, seed breeder, I mean like cannabis seed breeder, like uh, um, someone like DJ Short or uh, uh, George Cervantes. I guess, I don't know if George actually breeds seeds, he's more a grower. So, uh, so let's just say cannabis pot grower. What? So, <coughs> by that category. Oh wait, you guys have already taken your guess, no? Amber. Okay, now you're getting a little bit too far. You gotta, you gotta pick one of those options, Solo. Those are your options. Again, uh, Dr. Grinspoon has been helping us with our research project. We're forming an organization, the World Society for Cannabis Research, and we actually uh, talked to Dr. Grinspoon a little while ago to get some advice. We're working on some surveys and questionnaires we're going to be asking our members and the public, and it's uh, quite exciting. And we're also hoping to publish a peer-reviewed scientific journal on cannabis as well, and uh, we're working on that. So, uh, Dr. Grinspoon is uh, more than just a, a trivia question uh, in many ways for us. He's uh, someone we hope to work with further on the subject. Uh, but Joe Strobel is the one we're thinking of now, guys. So, I'm going to make you take a guess. Come on, spit it out. Holy cow, Joe Strobel is the first hemp farmer in Canada to grow hemp legally. 
Way and, to go. Uh, he got a uh, crop Way growing in, uh, I think it was 1994, was the first guess. legal crop grown in Canada. So, uh, yeah, people are getting lucky here tonight. I know I've made some tough questions, that's for sure. But forget about it all in just a second here, guys, because we're to the uh, fastest part of the game show here. And uh, I think we do have a, uh, a substitute on uh, one side of the, uh, the, 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 the game here. And, uh, She's really thirsty, Solo. I'll get her something I'll in a minute. Explain this part. Oops. Oh. We uh, basically each team here gets uh, one grain, oh, and they're told to break it up and smoke it in two joints, pretty much as fast as they possibly can. Um, Who's you guys gonna? Pipes, uh, you guys have a grinder. Yeah. Who's going to uh, be? Uh, yeah. Why don't we go for? Uh, joints. Yeah, yeah, you guys both got grinders, so let's go for it. Yeah, it's fun. You have to use a pipe. You have to use a pipe at the end. But you, you have to roll two joints first. Like, you, it's not just a pipe. So, um, it stays in the bag till he starts. Is he going to help judge over here, Walter? Yeah. Are you too? Okay. Well, I, I need a judge over here, though. Okay, then I can yeah. film. It'd be okay. make it easier. Okay, um, did you guys untie the bag? Okay, they were both tied, but untie the bag, oh. but don't take the pot out of it, okay? Oh. Keith, untie the bag, please, but don't take the pot out of it, okay? Just leave it flat on the ground. You can have the grinder open down there, but yeah, okay. No, no. So, um, like I say, uh, there's no holding back. Roll the joints and smoke them as fast as you can. And uh, away we go. Tonight's smoking contest starts in three, two, one, go. So, um, again, uh, we have uh, Reach for the Pot posted up, on YouTube. We have a Hempology channel. You can watch a bunch of the lectures that we've done. Uh, the rally in Vancouver. I, I took Herb over to Vancouver a few weeks ago. I don't know if I told you guys much about it, but uh, we had a heck of a lot of fun. We've made uh, a video and, and done uh, pictures about it. Uh, that's uh, online on our page and cannabis culture and stuff. So uh, please uh, check it out if, if you want to find out more of what's happening. Our forums are a really good place. Oh wow, we got a peacock and an owl here tonight. For those that didn't uh, notice, uh, um, one or two doobies. Two doobies. There you go. So uh, yeah, back to our, our game show. Uh, yeah, we got. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, yeah, uh, Solo's got his roll. Keith's got a, a bit more in his joint. Spark it as fast yeah, as you can, yeah. So we've got a spark up. happening oh, over here. And, uh, Ooh, Rockets, uh, so takes, oh, gee, we had uh, a fall. The, uh, the second joint had, uh, uh, a lot in it, it seems. So, uh, uh, there's been a, a bit of a, a struggle over here with, uh, oh, damn it, I didn't even write these team names down. So we got Smoke on the Water is the uh, team in, in with a, a solid 40 point lead. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, smoke them as fast as you can. Second spark. Oh, we've got light and, over here. Okay, we got, uh, oh, uh, you, you might want to light that joint, oh boy, oh, Anthony's uh, inhaling it up his nose, uh, not sure how healthy that is, but uh, the cannabis is disappearing quickly. Um, so, uh, yeah, three buds and a babe are on a bit of a mission here, it seems, uh, they're uh, behind uh, a, a few points, and they could really use this here, but uh, smoke on the water is not giving up easily here. Solo is uh, on a mission. Fuck yeah! And uh, it's, it, it on, could dude. be close here. So, uh, let me see. It looks no, like... These guys, oh, oh it's getting in the pipe. Anthony's uh, Getting the, the roaches. It looks like uh, three oh, buds and a babe have, have got a uh, it pays got, got it all uh, broken up and it's in it's in the pipe. They're just going for it. Smoke on the water has still got uh, a couple oh, of roaches girly. that are trying to finish off here. Holy cow! <laughs> 
We may need medical intervention, but three buds and a babe just picked up 10 points.